So today, guys, I want to make sure that you guys aren't making this mistake. And I have a feeling a lot of you guys might be doing it because there's been a lot of videos about it telling you guys how you guys can gain more weapon damage to your weapons. Now, I will tell you guys, this is not intentional. This is not how it's supposed to be. And this will be fixed after speaking to a developer. So let's talk about this now. So if you look at my King Breaker, right, you guys can see that it is expertise level 12 because I am expertise level 12. So that's the max I can level it. So if we head over to the expertise table and we go down to assault rifles, and then I'm just gonna look up the King Breaker for you guys real quick. So we have the King Breaker and you guys can see my next upgrade will be 13, but I have to wait till I get 13. I'm 22 out of 200. And then it says upgrade cost. That's actually recon data, shade, recalibration, and then three exotic components to hit 13. And you can max this out to 20 because 20 is the max expertise level. And this is perfectly fine. This will give you a guaranteed 20% at max weapon damage on top of your King Break. As you guys can see, I'm at 131,000. But there's also another way that a lot of people have been getting damage too, and that's the specialization. So if we head over to the specialization, let me just show you that. And we go over to the launcher, which I'm proficient in, right? You can see I have 2% weapon damage on here. And currently I can take this all the way up to 12 and get an additional 12% weapon damage on my King Breaker or on any AR. And this is what a lot of people have been doing. They've been getting 20% on one, 20% on another. So it's a total of 40%. And I will tell you, this is not working as intended. Yes, I talked to one of the developers and they said, yes, you can upgrade these, but that weapon damage is going to be specifically for either the P the launcher, the rifle, the minigun, the grenade launcher, or the flamethrower. So that proficiency rank, right, is only going to stack on your specialization weapon so if i get this to 20 percent, it's going to be 20 percent on my specialization weapons only it will not stack on my regular weapons and a lot of you guys know yes while this may be cool to get this maxed out it's a lot of materials you end up wasting you're going to be putting some exotic components into this and i would tell you if you guys have been doing this it is a waste of components don't do it now, you're not gonna lose this. This isn't gonna be rolled back. It will still give you 20%, but it's gonna be most likely 20% specialization damage. And we'll wait for them to update that. But the developer told me it is not working as intended. Weapons should only have max of 20% weapon damage from the expertise table. So your primary, your secondary, your pistol, whatever you're using, that weapon should only get a max of 20% weapon damage, not 20% here and then get another 20% from your specialization. So that is something I want you guys to know and I wanna put this out before it does come out and you guys are all surprised and you guys have been specking into this. I wanted to see what it would do and yes, it did increase my weapon damage on my King Breaker by 2% just by doing that 2%. So I'm not gonna waste any more materials into this because at the end of the day, I need those materials to level up my primary weapons or level up my other weapons. So for all of you guys who are leveling up both or you're not leveling up your weapon because you're leveling up your specialization, I will tell you, don't do that because that's going to be a waste of materials unless you just want your specialization weapon to be very strong. So just keep that in mind. Hopefully this clears the air on that. I know a lot of people have been like talking about it, especially on the PVP side, a lot of people are like, yo, 40% weapon damage is crazy amount of damage you're doing to players. I've seen people with 2 million armor shredding players and it's because they have 15% weapon damage in a specialization and then they have like 15% here and they're not even fully maxed out. And that's an additional 30% weapon damage, which is not supposed to be working like this. So just so you guys can save some of those materials and you don't end up wasting it, don't spec into both of these. Only spec into the weapon that you want to improve unless at the end of the day you want to have these maxed out well then you guys can do that but there's a lot of other items you can use those materials for especially those exotic components all right we're gonna wrap it up here guys appreciate the support appreciate the love i will see you guys in the next one but until then hey nothing but skills out take it easy everybody